Okay, in previous videos I've shown you how to add product categories, products, and custom fields to your products. Um, I'm going to try to cover as much of the the rest of uh, a quick review on the rest of Virtumart in this video. Uh, the inventory, I've never really used it. Um, the taxes and calculation rule, you can, but you can, um, you can assign products inventory and manage it from here if you're tracking your inventory through your your shopping cart you would need to have a if you have a retail shop as well you might want to keep separate stocks so that you're not constantly needing to log in here and update your inventory every time you sell one in your shop in your in your brick and mortar shop the taxes and calculation rules um, it's a little bit different for every um, website so depending if you uh, even need to charge taxes if you're a wholesale site or retail site or um, which state uh, in some states even require um, taxes by zip code so that would be a whole separate tutorial if I were to do one for that um, uh, the reviews and ratings I'm not using them and I don't really like to manage comments and, and reviews and I worry about spam so um, I generally don't use components like that the uh, orders and shoppers here if you click on here you can view your orders that you get through your through your shop you also can get an email notification whenever you receive an order and your customers will see email notifications whenever they receive their orders revenue reports I've never really used that the shoppers and shopper groups you can um, create different shopper groups like a wholesale group and uh, assign different shoppers to the wholesale group so that when they log in using their username and password they'll get access to that um, special pricing that might not otherwise be available to guests or unregistered users. There's a coupon system here if you want to run promotions and offer coupons and have the ability to um, check out in the cart. You might actually have to turn that on somewhere in the configuration which we'll cover later if you actually do want to use coupons. Um, manufacturers is another way to categorize your products and track that and there might be more uh, complex features. I never really use that so I'm not going to get into that too much. The shop, uh, in the previous video, we've already configured the shop. Um, the media files, that's where you're going to add and edit your images. The ship it method, we'll take a quick look at that. Um, uh, the Virtual Mart 2.0 does not have um, all of the shipping methods that Virtual Mart uh, 1.0 had. Um, it only comes with a basic shipping options right now if you need more complex options you'll have to search the virtual mart extension uh, directory to see if any have been uh, if they're offering any there there's probably some commercial ones definitely available and uh, maybe some free ones um, I'm sure in future updates right now they're in 2.02 uh, .02. in future versions there's probably going to be um, just like in virtual mart 1.0 um, modules that uh, and plugins that will automatically calculate your UPS, your FedEx shipping cost on the fly as long as you enter in your account number, your API, uh, you'll be able to, it'll, it'll calculate based on different uh, weights and dimensions. But for now you have uh, the ability, the one that comes with it, it's pretty basic, but you can, can do a lot with it. It's just a little bit more work if you're trying to do complex things. In this example I created, uh, I just typed in uh, free shipping because I want a free shipping option on the back end of the cart and I added this little message we will ship via U USPS or UPS so if you click here there's it looks like there's lots of options it's just the same one basically um, shopper group I'm not using them in this example the list order is the order in which you want it to appear if you have multiple shipping versions in the back end how you want it to how you want the order set the um, a lot of this is self-explanatory. Um, in this example, for free shipping, as long as they're ordering over a dollar, I could I could just as well put zero here, um, which just means everything on the whole site gets uh, free shipping. And then I'm going to save that. When you're trying to create one of these for the first time, um, let's say we call it uh, FedEx. FedEx. Um, I, you could enter a description there. It's if you try to go configure it, it's going to want you to save it first. So 
once you save it, you'll be able to get to the configurations for that. And um, for example, if you wanted to uh, create a FedEx, um, if you knew the shipping rates for FedEx, you could, um, for example, based on weight, um, you could set a weight range here, like from one to ten pounds, uh, and then the shipping would be ten bucks. And then you could save that, and then create a new, a new one of these, and then say from ten to twenty pounds, it would be twenty bucks, and from thirty to forty pounds, it would be fifty bucks or whatever. Um, use the appropriate rates there. So you could self-configure um, your own rates based on any weight range uh, for any carrier that you want without the plugins. Uh, like I said, in the future, I'm sure there's going to be more plugins, and you might already be able to find them. You just have to install them from the uh, extension directory if you need them. The um, Let's go to payment methods. It's the same thing with the payment methods. Um, in this version, there's several uh, good ones already, um, including the PayPal plugin. So down here, we have the Virtual Mart uh, PayPal, and then you just have like a standard payment option. So um, uh, I've already created the, the PayPal one, so we'll take a look at that real quick. Um, and so you'll just you can just type in the name PayPal, select PayPal plugin down here, and um, you'll see once you have a plugin, it's customized. Like so, this is customized by PayPal. So the shipping would be similar; it would have custom options for uh, that shipping service. Um, and I'm sure they're going to offer those in the future. So. With PayPal, it's really easy. Just enter in your username. I like to select this option, which is prompt for an address and require one, um, just in case, because I want to make sure that if they haven't updated their PayPal shipping address, that we're going to get the shipping address, and we're going to use the shipping address that they that they give us. That's why I'm forcing them to give me a shipping address um, when they're checking out. Um, pending, confirm, cancel. So this, this other... Uh, option should be self-explanatory. I'm going to save and close that and then uh, I created my own custom one um, I, I, using the um, using the Virtual Mart payment plugin standard. It's sort of a flexible one that lets you just uh, type in whatever you want here. It could be money order, cash, whatever. Then you just put in the instructions on how to do it here. Um, if you go to the configuration there's not much to do here. You can select options like um, countries and limit United States. So you're only allowing payment, you know, from the United States. And then you can put a message uh, that's going to go in with the invoice. So that would, you could just copy and paste that other text over there and then save and close. So it's not hard. If we go to the front end of the cart, we can see those, those shipping options here. Um, I'm only using the free shipping method, so I have that. There's no options to choose here because, um, and I'll show you later on in the in, in the cart where I. So you don't have to select anything; it's automatically selected because there's only one option, and I, I, I configured that in another section. The uh, change payment here, um, because there is more than one, uh, clients will have to customers will have to log in and choose you know, PayPal or money order, and then save. Please select a payment method. So now, um, so because it's PayPal, then since it's PayPal, once they check out, they're going to be required to enter in their, their PayPal details and stuff. 